I grew up in India. I was born in Delhi. I always wanted to be an astronaut. I thought astronauts are the coolest people ever. Then I realized I'd be a terrible astronaut. I tend to be not extremely good under pressure. Push all the wrong buttons. If you can't fly a spacecraft, the next best thing is to build a spacecraft instead. It's always been a dream of mine to come to Caltech. Caltech runs JPL, and JPL explored the solar system for the first time. When I found out that I would come to Caltech, that was one of the best moments of my life. I got interested in these spacecraft that are called solar sails. If you have a large reflective sheet in space, it will actually catch the sunlight and can use it to sail around the inner solar system, much like sailboats sail around the ocean. In space, bigger is better. The bigger air you have, the more thrust you get, the more power you collect, the more powerful your antenna is. And somehow these large structures need to be packaged into a rocket. And then once they get to space, unpackaged, unfolded. I call it the suitcase problem because you want to fill as much of your suitcase as possible with clothing and as little of it with air. For the past 25 years, people have been thinking about this problem a lot and they look to origami for solutions. Folding origami, it's very meditative. I can fold simple models at a small scale and immediately see is it going to work. I don't use separate parts of my mind when I'm doing art versus when I'm doing engineering. Both involve creating things that have not yet existed. Origami also tends to be somewhat restrictive. I realized that by creasing the material, it leaves gaps between the layers when I fit it into that box which takes up space, which makes it less efficient. I was at this conference in a hotel room at 1 a.m. My colleague and I were thinking about, well, can we go past the rules of origami in any way? Origami forbids cutting the paper. We realized that if you could simply just make a slit in our structure, it would fold that much more efficiently. Immediately, there was something in me that said, this could change a lot of things. It was this type of structure that nobody's talked about before. My approach is to build small-scale models of these structures and then unfold them on the ground. I need to be able to ensure that they come out reliably, smoothly, and predictably. This breakthrough opens up the possibility of a 10 times in order of magnitude increase in area. This could enable spacecraft to go places where spacecraft normally couldn't have gone. Space solar power stations that collect solar power and beam it down to Earth using microwaves could lead to completely fossil fuel free energy on the Earth. The idea that something I can design will go up in space, it's mind boggling. Encouraging that idea when it's just in its infancy, that is something Caltech does extremely well. You're afforded a level of freedom and you can explore the edges of what's possible.